Tori and Trey were involved in a horrific car accident this past summer, and Tori had a miscarriage as a result. To her, this tragedy was a wake-up call to stop playing games and get serious about their relationship. But now, she's received screenshots of Trey talking to other women and even pictures and videos of him engaging in sexual acts. Take a look. Beginning of the summer, I found out Tori was pregnant, and then we got in a car accident. When I found out I was pregnant, I was scared at first, and then I became excited after I told Trey, and it was like the best feeling ever because I was told I wasn't able to have kids at all. One day we were driving and a truck had made an illegal U-turn and sideswiped us and we flipped several times and we got ended up in the hospital and the hospital told me that my baby wouldn't make it. After the accident, we went to the hospital. I got checked, she got checked, and they came back with some bad news since she had a miscarriage. I, I didn't know how to feel about it. A way I felt about the baby not making it, I was sad, I was depressed for days. I felt like I didn't want to eat. When I tried checking up on her, she was kind of depressed. She wasn't the same her, basically. So I just tried to comfort her and do what I can, you know. But the accident and the miscarriage made me want to be closer to her because I felt like she could depend on me to be there for her, and I was. After the car wreck, I felt that me and Trey was back close, but he's been slipping back into his old ways, and females are starting to start stuff up, and he keeps lying to me about it. I know this because females are coming to me nonstop with screenshots, videos, and pictures of them. And I thought we was complete for once, but he's showing me different, and I just want the truth about it. But then uh, you you got into a, a, a horrible car accident, right? Yes, a what car. Happened? We was in the middle lane. There's three lanes, and we was going the speed limit around 50, 60 miles per hour, and the car did a legal U-turn and came into the middle lane, and Trey went to swipe over to the farthest lane, and the car came in it and it hit the back, and our car went to flip in. We flipped over bushes and landed by the railroad tracks, and I didn't have no seatbelt on at all, and he put his arms over me to make sure I didn't go flying out. Um. Now, women send you pictures and videos of Trey, right? Yes. Well, what And what's in these pictures? What's in these videos? Um, him having sexual intercourse with females, him getting... He's in videos, him having sex in videos. Yes. How hard is that for you to watch? Hard, pretty hard. And I actually went through his phone and seen him, too. What does he say about that? Um, he says it's old. He keeps saying it's old, but there's a date on it. The, a date has it all. Apple has dates. A date on him. that he's with you. Yes, January this year. He leaves for hours. He won't text me. He won't pick up the phone. He'll come home late at night and go straight to sleep. Won't even talk to me. No nothing. Go Why do you stay with him? And because I know you're a very young girl and you're in that foolish love. But when he's so blatantly um, disrespecting you, trying to hook up with other women, seems like you have evidence of him having sexual intercourse with other girls. Why would you continue to stay with this guy? Um, and you want to stay with Trey, right? Yes. What if he fails his lie detector test? Um, I really feel like I don't want to give him another chance if he fails it. But you will. Probably not. I already have plans of what happens if he fails it. What's what's those? What's those plans? Um, I called my dad and asked to move back with my dad. You go move back in with your yes. dad. See, that's pretty smart. I mean, you're one of the few people that ever have been on the show and said, I have a plan if he fails. Like, I'm going to move back in with my dad. Like, we don't get a lot of that. I think people just kind of come here and fly by the seat of their pants. But that's good for you. You have a plan. I hope you stick to it if yes. that's the case. How you doing, Trey? I'm all right. I'm so um, how would you describe your feelings about her? I feel like I love her. You I, got, I got strong feelings for her. Yeah. Um, and she said, you know, and you're both pretty young, she's even a little younger, that you guys were dating, but then you cheated a lot, you broke up, and then you got back together, right? And it seems like, since you got back together, that the cheating hasn't really stopped. You have a friend, Kiera? Yes. She's here. She made a, vid she made a video, though. Hopefully it wasn't with Trey. <laughs> okay, let's watch it. Trey is like, he's real toxic. It's, it's real serious because he gets to these points where he's just, he gets mad for no reason. So he starts yelling. 
he starts throwing things. He starts punching walls and stuff. I mean, he just just has this fit. Tori's like, she's one of my really like close friends. I'm trying to like get her out like from being with him. He's an angry person. And she calls me sometimes, she'll, she'll tell me, here I'm pissed off because Trey just blew up. So I'm just like, if I'm not there, who knows what's gonna happen next? Like if this man could put his hands on you, you wouldn't. And I'm not there, no one's there because they live together by themselves. All right, Tori, we asked you, since making your relationship official, have you had sexual contact with any other men besides Trey? You answered no. Since making your relationship official, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides Trey? You answered no. Results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Tori told the truth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you didn't really think that she was cheating on you, did you? Kind of. Why? Yeah. Because it's just sometimes you can feel me, she'll go outside, get on her phone, you know. But she be talking to me most of the time. And we have a group chat with another friend too. And we're on there every single day. Yeah, but it's if she's not leaving the house, kinda hard to cheat, right? She does leave the house sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I mean gotta go out sometimes. Got Trey came here and we asked him, since making your relationship official, have you had sexual physical contact with other females besides Tori? He said yes. Since making your relationship mm -hmm. official, have you had sexual intercourse with other females besides Tori? He said yes. During the pretest interview, uh, Trey confessed to sexual contact and sexual intercourse with at least five different females oh. within the past year. You gotta go. You gotta get out of there, man. Come on. You gotta get out of there. You really do. I told you, listen, I'll help you out too. You five get out more of there. females? Yeah. That's, told just, the that's truth. crazy, bro. Like, that's just wrong. I told the truth. You did. But that's wrong, though. What do you want to say? I mean, do you want to say what's going to happen now? I'm going back with my dad. And I have to ask you, do you really mean it? Yeah. Yeah. And you certainly can understand that, right? Because even though... And I believe you have feelings for her. I just don't think you're ready to be committed to any one woman, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But I, I do think you care about her. You certainly don't want to hurt her, right? Yeah. So w w you talk to her. What I got to do to make it right? No, 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 no. He's, he's not doing... Anything bad other than hurting you, like he's with other girls, he's not ready for this. But if you think that you're going to have him, and no matter what he says, he's not. He's not. And, and so if you ever want to be in a relationship where you want to just be one-on-one, -on -one, which most people want and expect, but if you don't put your foot down and don't say, hey, if you do this, I'm out of here, if you don't do that, you're gonna be like the rug on the floor. Just gonna wipe your feet on it. So you can walk off stage with Trey or say, I'm coming home, Dad. I'll go home with my dad.